what's up guys this is JR uh, and this is Guns and Glory um, tonight I'm gonna make a quick little video on a little thing called OODA loop um, OODA loop is something that is taught to cops I'm not sure about the military but I, I know it's taught to cops um, I'm fortunate enough that I've got a cousin who is a cop and um, I've really gotten a lot of knowledge from him uh, so OODA loop is something that I think is important that uh, you should that I I'm not saying that you should, uh, you know what I mean, take the OODA loop, look it up, do your own research, and maybe you have your own way of um, training yourself to do to do this. But I think you can train your brain to run through a scenario if, God forbid, you ever had to use your gun. Um, OODA loop was originated by an old fighter pilot called, uh, his name was John Boyd. Um, and supposedly he was one of the greatest tacticians ever. Um, so OODA loop stands for Observation, Orientation, Decision, Action. O-O-D-A. Uh, you got or, uh, Observation, which is Situational Awareness. You got Orientation, which is Situational Understanding. You got Decision, which is Situational Judgment. And then Action, which is Situational Influence. Okay, say you're out somewhere. You're at a restaurant, you, your family, um, and you spot somebody that looks suspicious. Let's say he's standing in the corner, he's got his hood up, and he just looks like he's going to do something. Um, that's your observation, situational awareness. You're out, you're, you're aware of your surroundings, you spotted somebody that looks like they potentially uh, could do something bad. Okay, so say he pulls a gun. And he's waving it around, he's threatening to kill you, to kill anybody that doesn't um, give up their property or anything like that. Uh, and I know that I've heard it before, um, you know what I mean? Property's not worth shooting somebody over. But you're, th you know what I mean? He's threatening to do bodily harm. What if he comes up to you and you don't got nothing to give him and he shoots you? You know what I mean? I'm not willing to take that chance. So. We've observed it. We've seen somebody in the corner. He potentially could be a threat. So he's pulled his gun. He's threatening to kill if you don't give up your property. So you got to orientation that. You have to understand that you have observed and you've seen a threat. He is a threat now because he has pulled a gun and he has threatened your life if you don't give up your property. And he's threatening the, the lives of the people around you. So you've ran through your observation and your orientation. You've observed, you understood what's going on. And then now you need to, you're at the um, decision part, which is situational judgment. Okay, you need to judge the situation and then make a decision in your head. This guy is threatening bodily harm. You know what I mean? If I don't give up my property, what if he comes up and I don't got nothing to give him or he doesn't like what I give him and he shoots and kills me? So I've, I've made the judgment call in my head that, okay, I'm going to pull my firearm and I'm going to use it. So you're at the, the action part. You've let all three of them other things influence you to the point where you're pulling your gun and you're, you're going to eliminate the threat. And naturally... Amongst all that, you're you're knowing what's behind him. If I shoot him and it, it goes through, you know what I mean. What's my backstop? Um, so you ran through the scenarios. You it's time to pull your gun and defend your life and the people's lives around you. Uh, you know, I think this is a big thing. I think this this is something that 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 we should train our brains and you don't have to you know what I mean look it up do your own research on it you know what I mean you might say and eh, I don't need to know that you know what I mean you might say you know that's pretty cool I want to look into it more you know what I mean it's totally on you this is my opinion this is something that I'm you know what I mean I'm I want to train my brain try to train my brain to run through if I'm if God forbid I ever had to pull my firearm and use it uh, as a concealed carry I think it's um it's important to know that because naturally I'm responsible for every range or every bullet that I put that leaves my gun. So uh, I want to be able to run through them scenarios and understand that, you know what I mean? He he I observed I observed that he was a threat. He is a threat now because he is threatening bodily harm, and 
if I, I don't give up my property. And then I made a judgment based on that, and then I acted on it. Uh, in stress, you you might you might not think about that stuff, but I think if you train your brain enough, that it 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 could do it automatically in a situation like that. So I just wanted to bring this to you guys. Um, you know, let me know what your thoughts are. Leave your comments down below. Um, as far as the channel, I, I got a review coming up on a, a, um, a Taurus TCP. It's a 380. Uh, I am going to do some shooting videos that are coming up. I know I've been doing a lot of talking and VRs, but, you know what I mean, I like to support. You know what I mean? I got a lot of support when I started this. I'm still getting a lot of support, and I like to return that. Uh, I'm still running my contest for my 100 subs. Um, I let it run for a few weeks. I think I got like seven entries, seven or eight entries. So, I mean, we got a few weeks, so you still got time to get your VRs in. Uh, yeah, I mean, I just wanted to bring this video to you guys real quick. Uh, think about it, you know what I mean? Let me know what you think in the comment section below. So, uh, yeah, don't forget to like, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And, uh, yeah, this is JR with Guns and Glory. Remember... Train often, train safe, and you are the resistance to tyranny.